I'm just joking with Carla that I, you're not supposed to take these home. The two new badges, but I took mine home. And they, but they punish me now, so the new badge says Dr. Mielsen. I don't think people call Dr. Mielsen on it. And so maybe I'm going to take, take the new one and swap it with the old one that just says my name here. Um, so today we have a, a fascinating presentation and discussion on supporting local. Um, uh, through the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce. And so today's guest is the Executive Director of the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce. Um, this is her first year in the director position and she's doing amazing things. Uh, she has an all-female staff right now, both her and Christina. <laughs> and they're doing really good things, really good things. And so without any further ado, Carla Cole. And of course, my throat's getting all dry already. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, my name is Carla Kuhl, and as Kobe said, I'm the Executive Officer for the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce. Um, I'm going to be reading like half of this because I didn't get to the rest. Um, I've always been the behind the scenes person. So this is kind of like one of my first um, talks with a whole bunch of people. Thank you again. <laughs> And it's great to be on campus, um, just looking around. You know, I, I came from, I went to UH Hilo. So it's really, yeah, proud graduate. Um, for just like a bit more background, I'm a Hilo girl, born and raised, and I went to Hilo High School. Um, I've been a s supporter of small business my whole life because my dad is a mechanic. He owns his own business. and. He's been doing that for about 40 plus years. And my brother works for him, my mom works for him. Everybody's there except for me. I'm the, one, I'm the only one on the outside. <laughs> so I hear their challenges, you know, they, they um, when people, when there's laws that, that are changed and they have to adjust or they have tough customers. Um, I hear when, even like when mainland chaining companies come through and they, they, they hear about it, they get like nervous. Um, and I even remember when I was in high school and Hamakua Sugar closed down. Where my parent, it, that was a big deal. My parents were like, I don't know if you can go to college. They are like, we, we took a big hit. Um, but there's also like, you know, wonderful things. My, my parents, my folks, they work hard. I get to hear that. I get to hear like all the, the great testimony from the community. And um, you know, they, they love their business. My dad, he could probably retire, but he's still there. He's still working, and I don't think he'll ever retire. He loves it. Uh, so, you know, I'm confident that a lot of you already know the importance of local business in our community, but let's talk about it. Let's remind ourselves. And you know, aren't we lucky to live here on Hawaii Island? We have a whole bunch of local businesses to support. Um, you know, who here has like a favorite local business? You know, the go-to place where everybody knows your name in a good way. Yeah. Uh, so we know that you know when you spend your hard-earned dollars at a local business, more of that money stays right here in the community, just by the nature of being local small businesses are investing in us they're more likely to purchase goods and services from local suppliers and distributors more likely to hire a local workforce and more likely to do business with local financial institutions than our businesses with headquarters elsewhere so in chamber member speak what's happening that's what's happening when like aloha mondays buys freshly caught fish from local fishermen for their ahikatsu you know, when White Guava Cafe gets their produce from our local growers, CPA firm Taketa Iwata Hara, they hire interns from Kobe. And, um, and later, when they graduate, they got a job. Um, our member of businesses who work with, you know, like places like the local HS, HFS, Federal Credit Union, um, they give back to our local nonprofits, like the Food Basket, and they've been offering scholarships 
for years to our local high schools and our N NUH Hilo Hawaii Community College. So that's just a few examples of the ways that local businesses invest in our community. <laughs> it's our local businesses that help give our community its unique flavor. These businesses reflect who we are, what we value, and what makes our community special. At the Chamber, we get lots of calls from visitors wanting to experience this community in a local way. We talk to them about checking out places like Suisan, Lyman Museum. If they're looking for good food, we talk up the home of the Lao Lao, the one pound Lao Lao, the Equihil Grill. Oh, got fans. <laughs> And it's our businesses and nonprofits that have a big part in making us who we are. Uh, other things like about local businesses, they're you know, often more environmentally friendly. They want to source goods as locally as possible. Uh, they want to reduce the need for costly transport, and they're likely, more likely to care about our, our aina. They want to keep our community beautiful and sustainable for future generations. And they're the innovators, the creators. Um, they're where ideas are born and the pioneers of fresh concepts. And they're the risk takers. So, you know, it's always good to support these guys. Um, some of our local businesses are the very ones who help us pick up the pieces after natural disasters. Like even from way back when, KTA superstores, we had you know, tsunamis and they would let people buy food on credit. Like nobody did that before. Um, so all of these things I've talked about, you know, like local businesses, they can be said for our local nonprofits too. Our nonprofits and local businesses are disproportionately impacted by supply chain disruptions, price increases, shortages, and you know, compared with large retailers like Walmart and Amazon. On top of all that, everybody's looking for, for people to staff, to staff their organizations and businesses. So they deserve extra, extra credit. And that brings us to the Chamber of Commerce. Um, so we're here to support our local businesses. And during the pandemic, we actually expanded our services just a little bit more. And it helped to, inc we included, you know, nonprofits. We do a nonprofit e-blast and we help to support our nonprofits as well. And this is the part where I have no notes. <laughs> so we were founded in 1898, a long time ago. Currently, we have about 345 business members and 800, I would say plus plus, member employees. Because I mean, if, even if we count UH Hilo, who is a member of our chamber, you guys got how many employees? You guys got quite a few. You guys are a big employer here. So I think that the 800 is wrong. <laughs> We're the voice of business. And um, just a little bit more, is that we're a 501c6 business nonprofit, um, which unfortunately means that we can't apply for grants and stuff like that. So a lot of our, you know, our events, they support us. They support what we do. So that's why we, we try to get folks to, to come out and get involved. Chamber staff, that's me. And Christina. Christina's right back there. And she's, a, she's our membership and marketing administrator. She's also a poli sci student at UH Hilo. And she's awesome. <laughs> our chamber officers, every year we uh, elect a new slate of officers and board members. This year we have uh, President Keith Marrick at Edward Jones. We have two-year directors. We have a bunch of di directors here. Vanessa and Bonnie. And I'm feeling like one more. And Mary, of course. So thank you for, guys for coming. So we meet monthly and you know we, we talk about all of the things which I'll talk about a little bit more. We have several committees. And I kind of split them up because the top four are the more businessy ones, and the bottom three are the, the more fun ones, I think. 
Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so our economic development committee, you know, like they keep tabs on what's going on and and in our in our county and in our state. Recently, we had the comprehensive economic development strategy talk story. That was really um, an important one. I know that Bonnie was there. And um, we offer a lot of different kinds of educational opportunities through the Economic Development Committee. And there's going to be more to come this year. We we're just talking about it. We have a finance committee. I don't have a picture for them. They just go through our books. <laughs> Not as interesting. That's why they're on the top list. That's why they're there. But um, we also have a government affairs committee who, um, you know, they, they also like, keep tabs with the state chamber and also work with our legislators. They do have a set of priorities that they look through every year. And, and um, we, you know, we, we, we advocate for our businesses through, through our local legislators. Uh, our military affairs committee. Here we have Mary Bajir talking to um, Lieutenant Colonel Alvarado, and he is the, the commander at Pohakuloa Training Area. Our membership committee also, well, our membership committee is built to help build our membership and, and retain our members. They vet our member applicants, which we receive maybe several every month. And um, this here is like a new member orientation meeting. Our social committee meetings are held. Our social committee is <laughs> chaired by Vanessa Carlson of UH Hilo. And they are the fun committee. You want to do the tagline, Vanessa? Okay. So we're the mullet of the Chamber of Commerce. Because we're business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so they do a monthly business after hours. I have a picture here of the one of our recent ones from Kitchen and Beyond. And so it's a great way for folks to learn about our business, um, our, our member businesses. And one Another committee that you might be really interested in is our Young Professionals Committee. And that's for our, um, our members, our member employees, ages 21 through 45. They do a lot of social um, pauhanas. Like here we have one at HPM, and that was sponsored by Hawaiian Airlines. And they also do an annual career fair at the Prince Hill Plaza in, in uh, cooperation with the uh, Pacific Media Group. It's been a really successful career fair. We always get calls at our office, when's your next career fair? So what does the chamber do? We got all these people, we got all these committees. We get people together. We connect folks. Um, so we have a lot of networking opportunities. Like I mentioned, the business after hours. And the YPs, they have their own pauhana. We do special events, like this one is a, we had a bourbon tasting. You see Dr. Colby there <laughs> holding up his, his glass. But um, so we get people together and it's just, um, it's been fun. We are a really friendly group. Um, we try to create things so that folks can mix and, and talk. Because, you know, like that's like one of the best, place, best ways to make, connect, to make connections, to build your business, to, find a job here on, on Hawaii Island. Uh, we offer even students speed networking. We're going to have one coming up soon where you can practice your networking skills. We can practice our networking skills together. So we have our, our holiday party. That's a special event. Um, this is from an after hours we had last year at Ace Hardware. And this is me and Vanessa at uh, that was at BISAC. Education, we provide a lot of opportunities here. For YPs in particular, we do have an Exec Connect. So we have some of our YPs with Doug Simons. And Exec Connects are very like intimate. It's a small group of YPs getting together and um, chatting up with one of our leaders. 
Doug Simons is, uh, he's our immediate past president and he's the director of UH IFA, um, Institute for Astronomy. And he got to share his story with this select group. Um, we've had Toby Taniguchi from KTA Superstores. We've had um, Gregor Illigan. And we also had like the head of House Smart speaking with just like a small group. And it's just such a great opportunity. Um, other professional development opportunities as our employment law seminar, which Christina and I are jumping on like as soon as we get off, get out of this, um, this session. We uh, have uh, Tar Torkelson and Katz coming and they talk about, they go through the whole day talking to a lot of our HR leaders about the new laws that, that affect them for the year. Um, we do Zoom things, like we, we had uh, the role of zoning in Hawaii's housing crisis. We just had one two days ago. Um, and we have fireside chats, other small gatherings. We had one with Chancellor Bonnie Irwin last, just last year. And like, we even have Dr. Kobe talking to our young professionals about communication. So these are some of the things that we offer. We also had um, just recently, Young Brothers came in and they spoke to our community about their, what's, what's going on with them. Advocacy, um, and I, so I mentioned before, like through our government affairs committee, we do, you know, push for certain legislation to, to promote our, our businesses. Um, we do visit the state legislature. There is a chamber day where we get to meet and greet and share our priorities with our legislators. And um, we've been up there at the state capitol for manufacturers day where we showcase our, our member businesses, you know, what they do, what they make here. And also our, our council members. So even like with the Hawaii County, we try to keep our, our members updated. Recognition. So some, some businesses, they want to join us because, you know, like they can get recognized or their employees can get recognized, not only through our our directories online, but also through like our Young Professional of the Year awards. So this happened just yesterday, <laughs> where we have um, Ashley Yamamoto from HPM Building Supply. She's our Young Professional of the Year. We awarded Kelly Miyazu from East Hawaii Cultural Center um, Community Service Award. Jessica Cariaga from HFS FCU. She got a Professional Excellence Award and also Crystal Chai from Community, <laughs> Community First Hawaii. She got a Chamber Service Award. So I can't, I can't um, miss Athena Leadership Award for sure. That's an annual award that we, we uh, award to our amazing, they tend to be, they're almost always female. I think they're always female. Um, we had one man, okay. Our female leaders in our community, one of whom we have right here, Mary Bajir. Are uh, all of the young professionals UH grads? I am not certain. They may be. I think so. I, I know Crystal for sure and Kelly for sure. Yeah? yeah? Oh, that's awesome. Um, we are like thinking of doing a small business awards this year. And that's something that we've done in the past and it's kind of gone by the wayside, but um, we would like to bring it back. And in small ways too, we like to recognize our, our member businesses, um, not just through our social media posts, but we've been doing something new called Chamber Cash Mobs. And we invite all of our folks from our community and our members to just like kind of like go love up one of our one of our local businesses. So the one that's coming up is going to be Halloween um, at Basically Books. And the the way that we pick Chamber Cash Mob recipients is that um, they need to be members, they need to be locally owned, and they need to do good for the community. So for in Basically Books is 
what they do, if you don't know, is that they host a lot and they support a lot of our local authors, musicians. And um, so, yeah, I'm excited for that. If you can come, come in costume. It's Halloween. And just some other things. Like, we, do, uh, the Chamber has an endowed scholarship here at UH Hilo and at Hawaii CC. For Hawaii CC, it's at Business Tec Technology. And the one here is, they're also, for, they're also of course, business um, type of students. Uh, we do have a golf tournament every year. That's a big fundraiser for our chamber. And um, we're kind of a visitor center. People find us and it's, um, it's, it's, al it's always funny because we'll just get a call and, or we'll get a visit. I've had a visit from um, a family of like maybe seven and they just come off the plane and they're like, hi, uh, what, what, what is there to do here? And so I need to like, you know, drop everything, be like, okay, here, let's take out a map and what are you guys interested in? So we have a, it's a fun, it's a fun office. Um, we're, we're people's Google sometimes. <laughs> we'll get calls uh, from folks who like say that, you know, I, hey, I want to be, I want to be part of a, a campaign. Like who's, who's out there? I want to support um, Kamal Harris. Where do I go? And we'll, right now, there's, there's actually not no one. There's no group. So I remember um, encouraging this, this older woman, maybe you can create your own group. We get a lot of um, very random questions. Christina probably has some stories too. Um, we also have, and this is totally random chamber things. We also have a rock collection at our, in our office because visitors send us lava. So th those are the things that the chamber does. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> um, and so I'd also like to remind our UH faculty and staff that you guys are member employees. So, you know, hit us up. If you want some news from us, let us know. We'll get you on our e-blast list and we'll send you some news. There's also a student membership and it's very um, inexpensive. It's $25 a year. And I have to say that Vanessa and Colby have been working on this student engagement grant. And we're starting this pilot program right now um, where recipients receive a free membership. They get uh, volunteer, they, they need to do volunteer opportunities and they get um, admission to a few events. So it's, we're just starting this program out and um, Check in with Kobe for, for the application information. So yeah, join us. We got lots of things happening. I just kind of listed like what we have, um, what I have kind of in my brain right now. Um, Vanessa and her team with the social committee, we're having a business after hours at the Yukio Okutsu Veterans Home on the 7th. And a spe student speed networking is coming up on the 13th of November. So. Um, let us know. You can always take a look at our website at hicc.biz for information. Our calendar is up there. And thank you very much. <laughs>